Scored a couple goals yesterday. He got him off to a fast start in this uh, rookie camp here. Yeah, it was, uh, yesterday was a good day. Uh, obviously, nice to scrimmage against uh, a lot of the guys that met for the first time. So it was a good fast pace, and uh, yeah, it was nice to score a couple goals there, get rewarded. What was the experience like for you last year? Obviously, I know OHL gets canceled, but you go over to Hartford playing against some guys that are older than you, first pro season. Like, what did you take away from that whole experience? Uh, it was a great experience. Obviously, uh, not a lot of guys got to do that because of the, the COVID season in the Ontario League getting canceled. So I was fortunate enough to be able to play pro, and uh, obviously I learned a whole lot there. And, um, yeah, it was a great experience. All the guys were super welcoming as a young guy as well. And, um, yeah, I just I learned a whole lot of stuff, and I feel like it's sort of fast-forwarded my development. You're a guy who we know likes to play physically. The AHL notoriously is a pretty physical league. Did you feel like it was a good fit for you? Did you feel like it was important for you not to show intimidation and kind of show that you were ready to compete with some guys like that? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, coming in and showing I can compete with uh, older guys, obviously, and bigger, stronger guys that are older than me, I felt like I, I fit right in there in terms of strength and compete level and the physicality. So. Yeah, obviously that was a big. That's a big part of my game, you know, being physical and playing hard. And uh, I think I showed that well to the uh, the coaches. Were there things in your first pro season that you noticed that you felt like you wanted to work on? Uh, just just overall speed and strength. You know, obviously going from junior to pro, the guys are a lot bigger, faster, stronger. So it, that was a big focus this this summer in my development. <laughs> just getting bigger, focusing on speed and power, and really trying to become a bigger and faster, stronger player. What would you say is your goal coming into this development camp? Uh, obviously, I want to make the team. You know, you come to camp and you want to make the team. So I'm just taking it one day at a time and um, trying to do my best every day, show the, show the coaches and the management what I can, what I can bring. And um, yeah, just taking it one day at a time. With, uh, with the, you know, what we've heard of you as a player is the physical part of your game and all that. Um, I don't know how much of that you can show in a camp setting, you're beating up your own teammates and things like that. Is it more important then for you to show them that you can score goals and you can do other things besides just hitting people? Yeah, obviously there's uh, more to the game than just being physical, you know, hockey sense, making, uh, making passes, making plays, using your brain. I think, uh, you know, the exhibition games coming up are a time where you can really show your physicality, you know, going up against other players. You know, you can show it here, but obviously you don't want to be out of control. So I think there's a fine line, and uh, you just got to, yeah, I'll, I'll be looking forward to, sh forward to showing it in the exhibition games. Have you gotten to know some of the other prospects even before the camp, or is this a good time when you guys are sort of bonding and, and looking to get to know each other more? Yeah, this is obviously uh, this is my first ever development camp. So obviously last year with uh, COVID, no development camp. So I've met a lot of prospects, I guess, for the first time here. And yeah, I really got to know uh, a lot of new faces and stuff. So. Some guys you know from maybe some of the Canadian junior leagues and stuff like that too? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've obviously played against uh, Beerling and Offman. Those are two guys I've played against in the OHL Skinner as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. you What's talk this about like for you, Will? You grew up in Toronto, the hotbed of, of hockey, and here you are in the pro development camp. What's it like for you? Well, it's a dream come true. Obviously, all my all my buddies back home uh, grew up playing hockey, so all my friends and family, you know, we're big big hockey people. Obviously, in Toronto, everyone's everyone's all about the hockey there. So it's cool. It's a dream come true being able to uh, you know step onto the ice and for my first development camp. So I'm just uh, taking it all in and giving it all I got. When when you you talk about wanting to make the team and. You see what the moves that the, the Rangers did in the offseason, acquiring players with certain grit and physicality and stuff like that. Do you feel like um, the type of player that you are uh, disposed well for you to make the team? Like the, the fact that they're going in that direction where they want to get more uh, tough? Uh, not tough, but physical? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, the coaches and the management know what I bring to the table. So ultimately, at the end of the day, it's up to them. I just got to show them, you know. I gotta make the decision easier for them, you know, whether I'm ready or not. I just gotta show every day, you know, what I can bring. And uh, at the end of the day, it's uh, it's up to them. I just gotta do my part.